Dr. Eric here to talk about prostate biopsies. If your doctor has recommended one for you, I'm going to go over what to expect. If you have any questions after watching the video, please post in the comments section below. The first thing that I have to point out in this video is that every urologist's routine when it comes to prostate biopsy may be slightly different. Different doesn't mean wrong, it's just different. Most of the information I'm gonna present here is based on how I personally perform a prostate biopsy. The reason we do a prostate biopsy is to evaluate the prostate for prostate cancer cells. At the same time, we also get a look at the shape, contour, and the size of the prostate using the ultrasound imaging. This can be helpful when looking down the road at treatment options. For the biopsy, your doctor will provide antibiotics for you to take prior to the procedure. You will also perform an enema before coming to the office. You will be instructed to stop all blood thinning medications prior to the procedure as well. Typically, there's no need for fasting prior to the procedure. Once in the exam room, you'll undress from the waist down and lie down on the exam table on your side facing away from the doctor. Your bottom will hang off the side of the table and you'll bring your knees up toward your chest. Basically, you'll be in the fetal position for the procedure. In my office, the procedure can be done with nitrous oxide medication to make you more comfortable. This is laughing gas at a low dose that you control yourself to make it more comfortable. It doesn't knock you out, it just takes the edge off. The doctor will then perform a rectal exam and then insert the ultrasound probe into your anus. This will make you feel full, like you need to poop, which is a totally normal sensation during the procedure. This can be painful for men with hemorrhoids, but otherwise, this part is completely painless. The next step is the numbing portion. This step is done to numb the prostate. We do this by injecting a numbing medication, such as Marcaine, around the nerves of the prostate. During this portion, you'll feel a poke, some burning, and some pressure from the injection. This is similar to what you would experience with a dentist when they work on your teeth. Once that part is done, the rest is typically pain-free. Next, the doctor will take some pictures and some measurements of the prostate using the ultrasound imaging. And at that time, we'll look for any suspicious areas of the prostate as well that might require special attention. The biopsies are then done in specific areas of the prostate, as well as any of those areas that looked abnormal on the ultrasound. Each time a biopsy is taken, you'll hear a loud clicking noise of the biopsy device. You shouldn't feel any pain at that time, but you may feel some pressure. After the biopsies are done, the ultrasound is removed and the procedure is finished. You should expect, after the procedure, to see some blood in the urine, some blood in the stool, and some blood in the semen, typically for a couple of days, although that can last up to a couple of weeks, and that's normal. If you experience high fevers, chills, nausea, vomiting, or an inability to urinate, you should call your doctor immediately. Some of those things may be signs of an infection. Your doctor will typically get the results of the biopsy within about a week. There should be no lasting side effects from the procedure. This procedure does not cause impotence or problems with erections. It does not spread cancer and it does not cause cancer either. I hope this information has been useful to you and that it helps you to prepare for your prostate biopsy and hopefully take some of the pressure off of you since you know what to expect. You can always make an appointment with me through my website on the screen and in the description below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please comment and subscribe below.